I'll be presenting my web based quiz application platform, which I built as a part of Modern Application Development 1 course project in diploma level of ITM BS degree program. So we'll explore this project in three main sections. First home page, second user dashboard, third admin dashboard. So let's begin with our home page. So here uh, is a simple home page. We have a navigation bar. On the left we have the platform name that is Quizzy. On the right we have two buttons. One for login and another for registration. So uh, user are multiple so they can register but admin in this application is only one and it cannot be created more. So admin cannot be registered or created. Only user can be uh, registered or created. So let's begin with user. We'll create a new user. We'll select the level. So no, it's fine with that. We'll select the date of birth from here. And we'll select the pass. We'll create a password. So for now, Neha has been created. So yeah. So Neha has been created as user. As you can see, we are landed to our user page. So on the left panel, we have our navigation bar that contains dashboard, quizzes, achievement summary, profile, logout. And on the right, we are welcomed back as Neha. And then we have four cue cards uh, that tells you about total quiz attempts. That is zero as Neha, uh, Neha, uh, Neha is new to this application. Uh, we have average score of all the subject that is still zero highest score um, till now if Neha will attempt anything then it will change and perfect quiz means how many time Neha will score 100 out of 100 20 out of 20 like full marks so it is represented by, by perfect score and there will be a count like how many times one time two times three times like that there will be a count so now we we'll move to live quizzes session. So as you can see, the deadline for this is 15-3-2025. So the deadline is not passed. So uh, Neha can attempt the quiz an again and again till 15th of March. And it is a chemistry quiz. Now you want to know the sub uh, chapter for which this quiz has be, uh, will take place and what are the number of question or time. So you can practice accordingly. So as you click on view, this type of interface comes and you can see the quiz ID is there, chapter name is there, quiz type is there, deadline is there, subject is there, number of question is there, total marks is there and du uh, total duration information is there and some instruction is there. So now Neha will know uh, how to prepare for this quiz and from here you can start the quiz or you can go back so from here also you can start the quiz so as you can see the quiz have been started timer have been started after attempting a quiz now you can see uh, i have attempted the quiz and it has changed attempt is one average score is 50 highest score is 50 and there is no perfect quiz so after this we have this section that is past quizzes past quizzes is basically whose deadline have been crossed and the uh, subject is there uh, for which the quiz have been taken so if you want to view it again it is with the answer, correct answer. You can view this again and practice this. Uh, as I click on back, we are landed here again in the user page. Recent achievement is 
the quizzes that you ha uh, have attempted so i have attempted chemistry quiz i obtained two marks out of four and it is 50 percent and the date in which i have attempted the quiz is given so now this is the performance overview or uh, you can call it a graph here uh, subject is there and quiz performance is there so for now I have attempted only one quiz so you can see I have scored 50% so it is there and this uh, graph is uh, created as per the quiz will come and I will attend uh, more quizzes so this graph will change and this overview will also change and we have a short um, information about neha it's kind of a id and uh, the student id is given neha email id is given and date of birth is given so now we'll log out from here and go to the admin page so now we'll uh, log in as admin So now you can see we are landed to our admin dashboard. On the left panel, we again have our navigation bar that contains a dashboard, subjects, chapter, quizzes, questions, user summary, logout. And on the right, we have we are welcomed as admin, and there is a search button to uh, search any user, subjects, chapter, anything as per our requirement and then we have this four cue cards that um, display total subjects that are there um, total quizzes that are there and total user that has been registered in this application and total quiz attempts so after that we'll roll to uh, the core functionality of admin uh, so first we have this section that is called class management we have three buttons here so as we click here you, you can see this interface comes where you can add a class and create a description for your class and save so for my convenient I have uh, clubbed the classes together and named them level A level B level C and uh, class ID is auto generated and description is there uh, so you feel like a test is not a proper description for level f so you need to edit that so as you click here you get this edit option so for that you feel like you should write college over here and save the change so you can see the, the change have been updated and then you again thought that uh, level F is too much for now. Uh, I manage only the level E. So you want to delete this? You can delete. So level F has been deleted. After that, we have subject management. Again, uh, likewise, we have three buttons. Add subject, edit subject, delete subject. As we click on this, this interface open where you have to select the appropriate class. Uh, add the subject name anything English math science and then give a small uh, description as per your convenience and then click on save and it will be saved and again you can edit anything you can edit the class you can edit the ch uh, chap subject name you can edit the description and save the change it will be saved so and you can see it will be saved and you can delete it uh, after that we have cha chapter management so in this again we get three options that is add chapter edit and delete so in this you can see you have to add uh, select the relevant uh, class you have to select the relevant uh, subject for which you want to add the chapter you have to write the chapter name you have to give the description and you can reset this form also or you can submit this uh, if you submit it will be submitted and it will be shown here and then we have this edit option 
this interface will come and you can edit as per your choice and then delete and again after uh, the chapter management we have quiz management again likewise we will get three button option that is uh, create quiz edit quiz and delete quiz so as we click on uh, edit quiz we get this add new quiz so in this we will get a quiz name class name subject chapter total marks number of question duration deadline till which you want to keep this quiz and then click on create quiz and then it will be created and likewise you can edit it or delete it after quiz management we have this uh, question management in this we are getting two options if we click on add quiz you can add the question from your options here and the correct answer here and after you are done with this um, you can finish it or view it after viewing you will see this type of interface come you can edit it here or delete it from here as per your requirement or choice after that we have user management and uh, in this um, users can be deleted or edited for Neha if it's class 9 to 10 and you feel like Neha is promoted and she requested to update the class you can update her class easily so now Neha class has been updated and this is the summary uh, of all the users combined for all the subjects quizzes that they have attempted so Hindi is 93.33% Mathematics is 33.33% so, so from this you can figure out that biology is weak and after that maths is weak and the strongest subject is economics of your user and with this I conclude and thank you.